I have already done my eyebrows and now I'm going to be doing my eyes. So I'm going to be using the original Morphe 350 and I'm going to be taking this color here for my transition color. Then I'll be taking the color Early Bird from Makeup Geek and I'll be putting that on the outer corner and into the crease. I'm going to be using, I think it's the Sigma E25 and grabbing this orange color here and putting that on my outer corner. And then blending it all. All right, and then I'm going to be getting like this more ready, orange red color. And I'm just going to put this on just on my lid And I'm going to blend it out again with Early Bird. Alright, so now I'm going to cut my crease because, well, half cut it. I'm in love with cutting my crease. Like, this is my favourite technique ever. color here from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll be putting that over top. Okay so I want a little bit more of like a yellow tinge to it. So I'm going to take this color from um, the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to put that over the top. All right, so taking this orange color again and going I'm just going to put a line, a black line on my lash line. I'm not doing any wing. clean up the rest of my face and for primer I'm going to use the Smashbox primer and put that all over my face. So I'm going to be using um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got the color 150 so hopefully it is light enough. I got a lighter color because I realized my 190 was a little bit too dark. So. I got the 150 and I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 to put that on. So I'm just going to do a couple pumps and blend that all in. I'm doing section by section as well. I feel like this is a little bit too light but we're gonna go with it anyway. All right, so I'm gonna use Fair Neutral to highlight underneath my eyes the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Highlighting on my forehead down my nose I'm gonna set the rest of my face with MAC mineralized skin finish in 
medium plus hopefully this will give a little bit of warmth back into my skin so I feel like I look like a ghost and I'm gonna bronze up my face I'm gonna use the hula bronzer Now for underneath, I'm just going to be taking that Sigma brush again and just putting that wash of that colour underneath of this colour. Then I'm going to be taking this orange colour and putting that closer to my lash line. And getting my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and I'll be putting that on my water line. All the way along. For mascara, I'm just going to be using my CoverGirl Club Crusher Mascara, my favorite one. going to use the Tarte color wheel and I'm just going to use this one up here and highlighter I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill highlighter you can never have enough highlighter I'm just going to be using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Caramello, which is my favourite. And we're done. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Eva. This colour here from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll be putting that over top. Okay, so I want a little bit more of like a yellow tinge to it. So I'm going to take this colour from um, the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to put that over the top. Alright, so taking this orange colour again and going I'm just going to put a line, a black line on my lash line. I'm not doing any wing. So I have already done my eyebrows and now I'm going to be doing my eyes. So I'm going to be using the original Morphe 350 and I'm going to be taking this color here for my transition color. Then I'll be taking the colour Early Bird from Makeup Geek and I'll be putting that on the outer corner and into the crease. I feel like this is a little bit too light but we're going to go with it anyway. Alright, so going to use fair neutral to highlight underneath my eyes 
the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Highlighting on my forehead and down my nose. I'm going to set the rest of my face with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. Hopefully this will give a little bit of warmth back into my skin. So I feel like I look like a ghost. And I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm going to clean up the rest of my face and for primer I'm going to use the Smashbox primer and put that all over my face. So I'm going to be using um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got the colour 150 so hopefully it is light enough. I got a lighter colour because I realised my 190 was a little bit too dark. So. I got the 150 and I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 to put that on. So I'm just going to do a couple pumps and blend that all in. I'm doing section by section as well. I'm going to be using, I think it's the Sigma E25 and grabbing this orange colour here and putting that on my outer corner. And then blending it all. Alright, and then I'm going to be getting like this more ready orange red color and I'm just going to put this on just on my lid and I'm going to blend it out again with early bird all right so now I'm gonna cut my crease because well half cut it I'm in love with it cutting my crease like this is my favorite technique